pirates, summon the heroic spirit Drake at the beginning author, like the wind. Chapter 21 Please teach me, Yix and Dojo, the three of Qina who came back here couldn't calm down for a long time. What they saw and heard today completely broke their inherent worldview. Whether it's the six paths and five wheels Giligara celestial phenomenon that seems to break the space, or the innate sword system that newly created the world of swords, they were deeply surprised. Gina, Sauron, you're aiming for the world's number one swordsman, aren't you? Koshiro took a deep breath, and looked at Qina and Sauron seriously. Yes, father. Qina bowed, seeing a great swordsman like big sister Musashi, I think even a woman can aim to be number one in the world. Yes, master. Suo Long buried his head heavily on the oar, master, please train me more severely in the future. I can't keep losing to Qina. After witnessing Koshiro, Musashi and Ziyun's kendo tonight, Sauron knew the vastness of the kendo world, but he felt that he was quite small in the past. Moreover, after knowing Koshiro's strength, Sauron now really wants Koshiro to teach him more. Don't worry. Koshiro stood up. From now on, I will teach you all my kendo. You should all be prepared to bear hardships. Yes yes. Musashi, what is Koshiro's strength? In the room Koshiro arranged for Musashi. Ziyun put his hand on Musashi's shoulder and looked at the excited Musashi with a funny face. Hold dot 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 sorry, please wait. It's too close, master. Musashi hurriedly pushed Ziyun, but his strength was so small that he couldn't push Ziyun at all. What's the matter? Ziyun deliberately moved his face closer to Musashi, and showed an innocent face. Any questions? Physical contact is prohibited when the two of you are alone. Forbidden. Musashi blushed. Although I likes beautiful boys, master is indeed a beautiful boy. But, but, as he spoke. Blue smoke began to rise from Musashi's head. Woo dot 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 it can't be done. My head is so hot. I need to go to the well to calm my head. Just as Musashi was about to move, Ziyun's hand on Musashi's shoulder immediately exerted force. It's so late. I still need to end cold water to wash my head. Be careful of catching a cold. Woo. Woo. Heroic spirits don't catch cold, master. You bully people. Ha ha. Who told you that Musashi is so cute? Ziyun scratched Musashi's nose with his hand. Who would have thought that Miyamoto Musashi? The mighty swordsman just now, would have such a side. Well, I'm sorry, can I bother big sister Musashi? Qina came outside Musashi's room. Come here. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Musashi quickly escaped from Ziyun's clutches. Seeing Musashi running away, Ziyun laughed out loud. Who? Who? Musashi, who dragged Qina to the courtyard of Yix and Dojo, took a deep breath. Little Qina, what do you want? Well, big sister Musashi. Are you okay? Qina looked at Musashi suspiciously. Why do you feel that you are in a hurry? Ah, ha ha, ha ha ha. It's nothing, it's nothing, just a little thing. Little Qina, tell me why you came to me? Question mark. It's actually like this. I used to think that female swordsmen are inferior to male swordsmen. Even if they can suppress male swordsmen for a short time, as they grow older, they will gradually fall behind male swordsmen. Having said that, Qina looked at Musashi with bright A's. But today, Big sister Musashi completely changed my mind. I now feel that even a woman can work hard to become the world's number one swordsman. So, thank you, big sister Musashi. After Nishing speaking, Guina bowed deeply to Musashi. Ha ha, don't be so exaggerated. On your side, female swordsmen are not very common, but on my side, there are quite a lot of female swordsmen. I know quite a few powerful female swordsmen. Musashi touched touch the head. Really? Of course it is true. Maybe they will come over in the future. For example, King Arthur is a very powerful female swordsman. Her intuition is quite powerful, as if she can foresee the future. Although, I am content that my swordsmanship is strong for her, but with her intuition, I can only say that she is a formidable opponent. Especially her sword, it is really a powerful and enviable sword. Musashi looked envious. And that general of Genji, she has a courage that surpasses human beings, like a ghost king. She is really powerful. Size. Ah, what, size? Kyuina tilted her head. Cough, cough, it's nothing. You just need to know that she is very powerful. Yes, very powerful. Musashi coughed awkwardly. Well, I have one more thing to ask Miss Musashi. Huh? What's the matter? It's the RST time I've seen a strong female swordsman like Big Sister. I want to be as powerful as Big Sister. Qina said in a seated position. Please teach me, Big Sister, how to become like you. A eh? Chapter 22 I can't sleep without hugging the pillow. In the end, unable to bear Qina's soft and hard ideas. Musashi decided to give Qina some guidance. Dot, but it was also agreed, just to know, not to be a master. I'm still a beautiful girl, and I don't want to be called master yet. These are Musashi's original words. Time gradually entered the middle of the night, although Qina still wanted to learn some experience from Musashi, but Musashi insisted that he was here today. After all, I have also experienced a battle. I still need to rest. You should also pay attention to rest, 
Qina, even if you want to work hard, it will be counterproductive if your body can't bear it. After Nishing speaking, Musashi waved to Qina behind him, and walked to his room. Hey, master, are you still there? Seeing Ziyun lying on his bed, Musashi blushed again. Huh? Is master asleep? Looking at Ziyun who was breathing evenly and had his eyes closed, Musashi moved closer. Seeing Ziyun sleeping peacefully, Musashi couldn't help poking his face with his inches. Master, you are really cute when you are asleep. You are usually so handsome, but when you are asleep, you are as cute as a child. By the way, I can always feel the master's subtle gaze recently. Is he not interested in my sword, but in my body? HMPH. If that's the case, I won't be able to practice more diligently. But now, the master has slept on my bed. Should I go to the master's room to rest? Musashi bit his ninja. However, going to the master's room is too dot 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 too troublesome. Just let's sleep together. Thinking of this, Musashi blushed instantly. Anyway. Anyway, the bed is quite big, so it shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter. Blushing. Musashi turned around and took off his shoes and coat, but he didn't see that Ziyun had opened his eyes and the corners of his mouth were slightly raised. Hey, Musashi, who took off his coat, lay beside Ziyun, looked at Ziyun in front of him, and approached him gently. It's not bad like this, he he. Feeling Ziyun's breathing, Musashi closed his eyes happily. Musashi who had just closed his eyes was immediately hugged tightly by Ziyun who was pretending to be asleep. Ha! Huh. Ha ha, Musashi, you are really cute. Even the exclamation is so beautiful. Ziyun, who was not pretending to sleep, looked at Musashi in his arms with a smile. Master, you, you're awake. I haven't slept, and I heard you say I'm cute. Although the word cute is a bit childish, I'm very happy. Musashi, you woo, master, you are so bad, you actually pretended to be asleep. Let me go. Hugged by Ziyun in his arms, Musashi twisted his body shyly. That's it. Musashi, I have a disease that I can't sleep without hugging the pillow. Looking at the shy Musashi, Ziyun said with a serious face. So, tonight, just let me hold you. Otherwise, I should have dark circles tomorrow. Eh? Sleeping. Not being able to sleep is a big problem. If, if that's the case, then, allow their master to hold me. At the end of the sentence, Musashi's voice was so small that it was almost inaudible. Then, thank you Musashi, you are so kind. Ziyun kissed Musashi on the forehead. It's great to be able to summon you. Hey, me too. It is my great happiness to meet the master. Feeling the temperature on his forehead, Musashi smiled happily. In the early morning, the sun pierced through the shroud of night and sprinkled its own brilliance on the earth. The villagers of Shuangayu village also got up one after another. It wasn't someone in the village who was discussing the earthquake last night, or the mountain that had been split in half. Big brother, big sister Musashi, are you really leaving? Seeing Ziyun and his party preparing to board the golden deer. Qina was very reluctant. Ziyun saved her, but she still hasn't repaid him well, and she still wants to know more about Ziyun and Musashi's swordsmanship. Adventures in the sea are waiting for us. Ziyun patted Gina's head. If you want to see us, then get stronger and come to the sea to end us. Well, I will denightly become stronger, and I will denightly go to the Big Brothers when the time comes. Qina looked determined. Question mark. Also, Sauron, you have to work hard. I hope you can beat Gina at least once in the future. Ha ha, Ziyun who turned his head to look at Sauron, laughed. HMPH, I will denightly defeat Qina, and I will denightly go to the sea to challenge you in their future. Get ready. Sauron looked at Ziyun unconvinced. Ha ha, then I'll just wait and see. After speaking, Ziyun led everyone aboard the Golden Deer. Then, everyone, see you later. I hope to discuss Kendo with Mr. Ziyun and Miss Miyamoto in the future. Koshiro bowed forward, this time really opened my eyes, presumably. I will soon see everyone become famous in the sea news. Goodbye. See you later. Qina and Zora shook their hands vigorously. The golden deer gradually set sail, and the speed was getting faster and faster, heading towards the next location. Chapter 23 Dragon Analysis Not long after Ziyun and his party left, a ship with no markings on its sails docked at the shore of Shuangayu village. Long, look over there. The monster king of Ankov with a big face looked at the mountain that was split in two not far away, and stared out his eyes. Let's go. Let's go to Koshiro's place quickly. He who lives here must know about the fact that their mountain was split in two. Long looked at the mountain with a serious face, and took their revolutionary army and his party quickly heading towards Yix and Dojo. Long time no see, Koshiro, I'm going to trouble you again this time. In Koshiro's room, Koshiro and the revolutionary army were talking. You're welcome, everyone. The food has been prepared for you, and you can take it away. Koshiro pushed his glasses not paying much attention to Long's thanks dot to him, stockpiling food is just a trivial matter, but what the revolutionary army is doing is the real good thing. Well, we'll move out later. Long put down his teacup. Actually, I have something I want to ask you. It's about the mountain split in two, right? Koshiro guessed the question Long wanted to ask, 
Before he could ask, he hop, Ivankov's big face suddenly appeared in front of Koshiro's eyes. When we came here, we heard from the villagers that a hundred meter high silver white light saber suddenly appeared last night, splitting the mountain like this. Mr. Koshiro. Did you see it? Of course. Koshiro looked at Ivankov after taking a sip of tea, because, that's exactly the slash that my opponent swung. What? So that's the case, Miyamoto Musashi and Ziyun. I never imagined that there are such unheard of strong men in this world. Ivankov sat on the oar after listening to Koshiro's story, with a sigh on his face. Is it an unknown strong man who suddenly appeared in the East China Sea? Long pondered, perhaps. The disappearance of the Tanlong people who appeared in the East China Sea last time may have something to do with them. Dragon, you mean? Ivankov looked at the dragon with his mouth wide open. The Tanlong people lost contact in the East China Sea, and the unknown strong man is also in the East China Sea. All this is too coincidental. Long analyzed, only strong people like them cannot be afraid of the Tanlong people. This is really. Ivankov licked his lips, feeling that Long's analysis really made sense. At noon, the golden deer, which left Frost Moon Village, sailed quickly on the sea. Although there is only a breeze blowing the sails of the golden deer on the sea at this moment, the speed of the golden deer, which relies on magic power to sail, is not slow. Even sea trains can't match its speed if you want to sail at full strength. Well, as expected, the happiest day of the day is when eating. Musashi, holding a bunch of meatballs in his hand, was full of happiness. Mr. Amiya's cooking is still as delicious as ever. HMPH. It's a small thing. Amiya is also completely used to his identity as a chef now but feels that the combat power on the ship is so high that it is good not to have to GHD by himself. So, eating or sleeping in Ziyun's arms, which one is happier? Tsunade held the wine and looked at Musashi with a teasing smile. This morning Drake came to wake Musashi to wake up, and happened to see Ziyun and Musashi sleeping together hugging each other. At that time, Musashi hung his hands and feet on Ziyun's body like a live octopus. Seeing such a scene, Drake naturally shared it with her good drinking buddy Tsunade. Wow, when Tsunade mentioned this matter, Musashi blushed again. Although she is usually careless, she is quite shy when it comes to matters between men and women. This is far inferior to their bold Drake and Tsunade. Because of this, Drake and Tsunade often made fun of him. The blushing Musashi now wants to empty a gap to sneak in as long as he thinks of being woken up by the smiling Drake. Drake's words were so powerful this morning. Hey, Miss Tanyu and Flower Octopus, you're awake. I'm sorry to disturb you or are you sleeping? For a while? That's what Drake said this morning. Now being reminded by Tsunade, Musashi, who had only recovered for a short time, naturally couldn't stand it. Don't get me wrong, I'm just being treated as a pillow by the master. It's because the master said that he has a disease that can't sleep without hugging the pillow, so we are like this. Musashi explained in a panic, if you don't believe me, you can ask the master! Exclamation mark. Yes, that's true. Ziyun put down the black tea in his hand with a calm face. I prove for Musashi that I just slept with Musashi in a simple hug last night. Nothing else happened. When he said what, Ziyun deliberately emphasized his tone. Oh. No other what happened, ha <laughs> ha. Drake learned and behaved, and also emphasized their tone of what? You are dot 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 master, what you say like this is counterproductive. Musashi wanted to cry but had no tears. Is there something wrong with me saying that? Ziyun looked puzzled, speaking of which, my sickness of being unable to sleep without hugging the pillow has not healed and I will ask Musashi more in the future. What? Ha 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 ha. Get welcome bonus up to 10,000 question mark. Seeing Musashi with a bewildered expression, everyone burst out laughing. Chapter 24 Go Get a Moxi. Different from the joyful atmosphere on the Golden Deer, the two warships with the world government logo on the scene not far away are indeed a gloomy and serious atmosphere. Dragonman Rodwood Street has been out of contact for so long and there is no news yet. Are you all in the Navy? The CP-0 agent wearing a white mask looked angrily at the Vice Admiral Ying. Squirrel beside him, if this continues, Wu Luxing will not spare you lightly. I won't spare you lightly, CP-0. Facing CP-0's anger, Flying Squirrel held his knife calmly. I didn't come here to investigate the matter of the Tanlong people. You were forcibly recruited by you. When I was investigating the corruption of Colonel Mouse, the Vold Stars asked the crime and they also asked you, the person in charge of the investigation. You, CP0 pointed at the Ying Squirrel angrily. He also knew that the Ying Squirrel was right. If some things are not investigated, maybe his position will not be kept. However, there was nothing he could do. The sea was so big, and without any witnesses, it was extremely difficult to ND out the identity of the attacker. So far, in order to ND out the attackers of the Tanlong people, Many pirate groups in the East China Sea have been destroyed by them. Even the sea kings who might have eaten their Tan Long Run were beheaded a lot. However, this has no effect. Can't ND the assailant, or even the body of the celestial dragon. He is destined to be blamed by Wu Luxing. Huh? That's the pirate group that attacked Colonel Mouse, 
right? Flying Squirrel Admiral was quite surprised as he watched the golden deer approaching them from a distance. Be courageous, but don't run away when you see us. You are indeed a vicious pirate who can shoot at Colonel Mouse. Flying Squirrel walked up to the bow and slowly drew out his knife. Although the corruption of Colonel Mouse has been discovered now, the crime of attacking their navy is real. Now go to prison and atone for it. Speaking of which, not wanting to see the CP0 agents Ying Squirrel is like using the moon step to go to the Golden Deer. But just as he squatted down, he saw a red gyo Ying over from there. Golden Deer, ding, I found a devil fruit, please go and collect it. Hearing the mechanical voice in his mind. Ziyan looked at the warship ahead. I guess it's there. Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel and CP0, since you have hidden devil fruits, you're out of luck. Ziyan looked at Wai Gong beside him. How about it? Why don't you go? If you get the money, you can strengthen yourself. Although your strength has not yet reached its peak, but relying on your treasure, if you are not a general, it should not be able to do anything to you. Well, I would like to follow the master's instructions. Wai Gong stepped forward. Besides, it is also a good thing to improve your strength. To be honest. The current body seems to be in a weak state compared to the peak. I can bid farewell to this state it's also a good thing. In that case, we'll just watch you perform. Ziyun smiled, if we really need help, I'll let Drake re- Yes, Emiya boy, you can go at ease, my cannon will pay attention to you. Drake patted his chest hard. Why listen to you, it feels very unlucky. And let the big guns pay attention to me, but it is too reassuring. Emiya shook his head, forget it, I'm going. I still have to deal with them. Condent. When the time comes, you can come directly to collect the treasure. After Nishing speaking, Imiya Shiro jumped towards the world government ship. The Ying Squirrel didn't prevent Imiya from boarding their boat, but just drew the knife in his hand and looked at Shiro Imiya silently. Give up on a ship with powerful repower and arrive at the enemy camp alone. Your Excellency is really brave. CP0 walked to the side of the Ying Squirrel. Should I say that your excellency is bold or stupid? I'm not here to chat with you guys. If you can hand over the treasure on board, Wai Gong projected two broken knives from Moxi, then we can avoid getting strange ability, you are an ability user. There are indeed some people in the world who eat devil fruits and think that they are the best in the world, and these people often die very quickly. There, Ying Squirrel looked at Wai Gong's hand that suddenly appeared with two knives, raised their knife and pointed at Wai Gong. We are not the Colonel Mouse that you unskilled. You should experience the difference. Flying Squirrel, stop talking, kill him quickly, and then go kill his companion. After speaking, CP0 turned and walked into the boat. We still have important things to do. Hey, it seems that Gding is inevitable. Waigong crossed his swords. Then, I'm going. After Nishing speaking, Waigong projected Ganjiang Moxi towards the Ying Squirrel. The Ying Squirrel staggered the tracks of the two swords, and the two swords you behind there. Ying Squirrel. The Ying Squirrel who avoided the attack, was about to rush into Emir with a knife, but just as, he set his sights on Emir, the two same blades you towards his face again. Fortunately, the Ying Squirrel also slept in the battle-tested navy, and immediately swung two knives, chopping off the attack. The new Gogeta, Moxie, was knocked out by them, respectively. Chapter 25 Welcome to the World of Swords It's a good attack, but it's not enough to defeat the Vice Admiral. The Ying Squirrel who knocked the General Moxie into the air stopped talking nonsense and used shave to quickly rush towards Wai Gong. Wai Gong calmly projected the General Moxie again, crossed his hands, and swung his sword at the Ying Squirrel. Huh? The Ying Squirrel's eyes ashed a domineering light, and he clearly caught it. Four weapons were yanked towards him at high speed behind him. And this is the weapon that he either dodged or knocked into the air just now. Be careful. CP0, who had already retreated a long way kicked four consecutive kicks, and there, four rare blades quickly you towards the swords behind the four Ying Squirrels following his kicks. Boom. The swords of Wai Gong and the Ying Squirrel clashed together. Although the crisis behind there, Ying Squirrel was relieved by the kick of Lan Jiao kicked by CP0. But the strength of Wei Gong's sword strike forced him to retreat. What? Admiral Flying Squirrel was repelled? Impossible. How could Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel be repelled by the pirates in the East China Sea? The navy with a gun on the side opened its mouth. It was hard to imagine that the weakest East China Sea could have pirates repel Ying Squirrels. It's really a powerful technique. If it wasn't for CP Zero's help, I might have suffered a little injury just now. The Ying Squirrel stood up straight, and the knife in his hand was gradually covered by the arm domineering. It seems that I underestimated you. Come to think of it, you are the main force on your ship. Next, I will be serious. Question mark. The trick just now was called Crane Wing 3 Company. Wai Gong smiled. And, you, guessed wrong, I am the weakest in our regiment, at least for now. Do you think we will believe it? Your combat power is already rare in the East China Sea, how could you be just the weakest pirate in the pirate group? CP0 stepped forward, however, it is better to deal with you quickly. After that going to get rid of your fellow pirates. Flying Squirrel, 
Let us quickly subdue him together. The Ying Squirrel put on a posture and answered CP0 with actions. Sorry, I don't intend to keep my friends waiting too long. So, Wagong clenched his ST and put it on the chest. In the bone of my sword. Huh? Stop him, Flying Squirrel. Seeing the surging energy around Wagong, CP0 rushed towards him. He didn't intend to know what the enemy was trying to do. Just pointed the gun. Flying Squirrel Slash. With the CP0's attack, the Ying Squirrel's Slash quickly came in front of Wagong. Shoot. Shoot quickly. Quickly support Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel. Covering Master CP0. Bang. 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 The surrounding Navy and World Government agents also rushed to open Re. The attack that came to Wagong didn't work. All of them were blocked by the petal-shaped shield that suddenly appeared in front of Wagong. Have withstood pain to create many weapons Imiyo ignored the enemies in front of him, but still recited the mantra silently. This is, looking at the oa-shaped shields that blocked their attacks, and Imiyo Shiri who became more and more imposing. The Ying Squirrel and his party didn't need to talk to each other, they all intensely ed their attacks by coincidence. As the attack intensely ed, the oa-shaped shield shattered layer by layer, but it was too late. After all, Imiyo was already ready. So Zipri. Unlimited blade works. Boom. The location changed, and everyone came to the world of swords from the sea. Here is unlimited sword system. Dot. Looking at the suddenly changed environment, both the Ying Squirrel and CP0 were speechless. For a moment, they had thought that if they didn't organize Wai Gong in time, they might be hit by Lin Li, but they didn't expect to be taken to an unknown place suddenly. Dot. And the swords around them made them very uneasy. Dot. Just try it for a second, and the sword will wire up and attack them. Space transfer. No. It shouldn't be a space transfer. CP0 is also well informed, and doesn't think it is a space transfer to other places. Since it's not a space transfer, it must be fruit. Awakening, and the ability to erode reality through fruit awakening. Hee <laughs> hee, it's almost as you guessed. Wai Gong didn't say it clearly, and drew out a sword that was close to him, pointing at everyone. So, are you ready? Next, what you have to face is there. In Night Sword. After Nishing speaking, Imiya pointed his sword towards the sky and countless swords began to leave the ground and white to the top of Amiya Shiru's head. What is this? My god, how could this be? How do I stop this? The sailors and agents were almost unable to hold the guns in their hands at this moment. Looking at the countless swords in the sky, they just felt that the guns in their hands could not give them any sense of security. Now they only hope that Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel and Master CP0 can quickly defeat the enemy so that these swords will not attack them. Looking at the group of swords in the sky, even with the state of mind of the Ying Squirrel and CP0, they feel a little sad. The domineering energy of the armed color runs through the whole body, and the domineering energy of the knowledge color is fully displayed. Facing so many swords, they all knew that they couldn't dodge all of them. They could only hope that their armed domineering spirit could withstand it. All they want now is to defeat Shiro Imiya quickly. In their hearts, defeating Imiya, the world will naturally disappear. The sword in Wai Gong's hand swung downward, accompanying his movements. The sword of the sky began to fall, faster and faster. Boom, 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 boom. Chapter 26 The Arrival of the Gunners Countless swords fell like raindrops on Imiya Shiro's enemies. The Ying Squirrel and CP0 who rushed towards Wei Gong had to stop to resist the sword from the air, compared with Ying Squirrels and CP0, naval soldiers and agents are much better. What fell on their heads was nothing more than a few swords. Ding, ding, ding. Swords kept passing through the defenses of the Ying Squirrel and CP0, falling on them. Although there are many swords that cannot break through their arm domineering, but many of them have scars on their bodies. After a while, CP0 and the Ying Squirrel turned into a blood man. Now they have completely given up attacking Shiru Miyu, and they are overwhelmed with defense against the Ying swords falling from the sky and they have no free time to take care of other things. They only hope that this rain of swords that keeps falling can end as soon as possible. Finally, the sword rain is over. But at this moment, the only person who can still stand is the Ying Squirrel. To the Ying Squirrel, it was only a few minutes of sword rain, as if it had fallen for several hours. Several times he thought that he would die under the rain of swords, but fortunately, he persisted in the end. Even so, several swords were stuck on his body, and blood was draining from his body quickly. If not treated in time, Presumably, death is not far away. The Ying Squirrel stabbed the ground with a knife, half kneeled on the deck, and looked around. Dot except for a few people who still have breath, even CP0 has died. The corpses of CP0 lying on the ground were densely packed with swords. Dot he was not as strong as the Ying Squirrel, and he did not persevere. Shouldn't it be said that the Navy won the lottery? Imiya threw the sword in his hand and looked at the Ying Squirrel. In the face of such an attack, I can survive. It makes me a little curious about the level of the general. The Ying Squirrel turned its head and stared at Imiya. The general is much stronger than me. Even an attack like yours is far less destructive than their general. Oh, really? However, 
This is not my peak. What? Wai Gong didn't want to talk nonsense with the Ying Squirrel, raised the treasure in his hand, and threw it vigorously at the Ying Squirrel. Ding? Question mark. Hey, it's still able to block it after being injured to such an extent. He's really a tenacious guy. Seeing the Ying Squirrel knocked into the air after blocking Wai Gong's sword with a sword, Wai Gong couldn't help admiring his tenacity. Wai Gong shook his head, dispelling the inherent barrier. How is it? Wai Gong. Ziyun came to Wai Gong Shiru. How do you feel? After using the noble phantasm once, I feel that my magic power is almost exhausted. Emir looked at Ziyun. For me now, one unlimited sword system is already the limit. Wai Gong took a deep breath, although he didn't show it when he talked to the Ying Squirrel. Just now, he actually didn't have much strength. Dot. Otherwise, it would be impossible for the Ying Squirrel who was injured so badly just now to receive his last blow. Also, even with the unlimited sword system, I feel that the quality of the sword in there enchantment has declined. It has not reached the level it should be. Is this the level that ordinary level strength can achieve? Ziyan nodded. However, to be able to defeat a vice admiral and a CP0 agent is still pretty impressive. Let's go. Go and harvest our trophies. If you have enough funds, you can also raise your strength. As for these guys who still have a breath, let them go. By the way, let them increase the bounty for us. I'm really looking forward to what price you, Imiya Shiru, will have. Ha ha. After speaking. Ziyan took the lead and walked into the cabin of the navy to get their spoils. Congratulations to the host, I got the superman type electric fruit and the animal type hippopotamus fruit. Ignoring the voice of the system in his mind, Ziyan began to struggle with the profession of summoning club. Now there are swordsmen, knights, archers, doctors, and superpowers in the team. If this is their case, let's call the spearman this time. System, summon the character of the spearman class for me. Okay, host. Start calling now. It's amazing. I was summoned from this light. It's amazing. Seeing the sudden appearance of the magic circle and light ball, the yellow ape Peluslina was amazed again and again. Is the master summoning the spearman? I hope it's not the blue spearman. I don't get along with him. Wagong crossed his arms and looked at the summoned person who gradually appeared. Ding. The summoning has completed the regular level spearman Li Xiuin, and he has obtained Li Xiuin's Bajakain ability. <laughs> this is feeling the sudden addition of Bajakain experience in his mind. Ziyan was stunned. This is not simply the acquisition of Bajikhan's treasure Wu Erda, but also a complete set of Bajikhan skills. There had never been such Ben ATS before. The happiness came so suddenly that Ziyan was completely dumbfounded. System, is this kind of reward okay? Host, when you summon a character, you can obtain a kind of ability of the summon person. A simple treasure is a kind of ability, and a set of boxing skills is also a kind of ability. Really? That's really great. There will be more rewards like this in the future. System. System. Chapter 27 Old Gun Li Xiuin. After the joy, Ziyan looked at the old but strong gear revealed after the light of their summoning array dissipated. My name is Li Xiuin. I'm a spearman. Although I'm just an old man. But it's enough to protect you. Please take care of me in the future, Master. Li Xiuin, who is wearing a Chinese tunic suit and a coat, has grey hair, but his age does not conceal his martial artist's edge. There was a faint coldness in his eyes. I really didn't expect to be able to summon you. I have always admired Bajakan and Bajas Pier. Ziyan looked at Li Xiuin excitedly and said, And what surprised me even more is that neither the state of your youth, nor the state of being too old to hold a gun is summoned. The Li Xiuin being summoned now is from the character of the Holy Grail of the Imperial Capital, not the young Li Xiuin and the old Li Xiuin that Ziyan summoned when he played the game before. This also surprised Ziyan a little. Although my strength is not as good as the younger me, and my skills are not as good as the older me, but I don't think I am inferior to them. Li Xiuin put away the gun in his hand and looked at Ziyan. I also have my own advantages. From now on, let the master get to know it. Well, well, I also know. In the days to come, there will be Mr. Lao. Ziyan cupped his STS and bowed to Li Xiuin. Then, now, help me strengthen Amiya Shiru and Li Xiuin to their peak state. System. Yes, master, deduct 12 billion berry. Start strengthening. Dot, 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 ding. The enhancement is successful, and the master still has a wealth of 3 million berry. This state is really good. Feeling the changes in his body. Imiya Shiru couldn't help but smile. I am stronger now, and now, I have more contents to protect you, Master. Li Xiuin squeezed his SD and said to Ziyun. Now, you should be able to use the noble phantasm continuously, Imiya. Ziyun RST looked at Shiru Imiya. The power of the noble phantasm should be improved. Yes, Master. If there is a battle with those marines just now, I can remain invincible without using the treasure. Imiya said contently. Question mark. That's really great. After Nishing speaking. Ziyan turned to look at Li Xiuin, then, old man, since I have reached the peak state, can you guide me in Bajakan? Actually, I just acquired the ability of Bajakan. Now I want to ask you for advice. Oh, Li Xiuin became interested when he heard that Ziyan possessed the ability of Bajakan. Since it is the master's request, 
I naturally agree. If the master is interested in my marksmanship, you can also learn the marksmanship with the foundation of Baja Khan. It is not difficult to learn the 8th level spear. Ha ha. Then I hope that Mr. Lee will not hesitate to teach you. Ziyan was very interested, but for now, let's RSD understand this Baja Khan that was born out of thin air. Then, master, you should be careful. Li Xiwen put on a posture while speaking. Yeah, Ziyan nodded adopting the same posture as Li Xiwen. Boom. On the golden deer, the sound of STS and kicks began to sound. Damn red-haired man. He took advantage of my absence to lure Luffy to become a pirate. When I meet him, I will never spare him. At this time, on a slowly advancing naval warship, a stronger man wearing a dog's head hat was complaining. It was the naval hero, Monkey D. Carp who was dubbed Iron Fist. I won't let you succeed, Shanks. I will use my Iron ST of love to educate Luffy back. Garp raised his ST and said Ursley, reporting to Lieutenant General Garp, there is a ship of the world government awaiting on there, see in front of the left, but the people on board were all covered in blood and fell on the ship, and, moreover, Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel also fell in a pool of blood, the lookout with the binoculars found his colleague who had fallen not far away, and hurried to Garp to report to him, what? How could the young squirrel fall down? Garp hurriedly looked in the direction reported by the Watchman Navy, and at the same time, he covered the ship where the Ying Squirrel was, with a domineering look, huh? Under the domineering cover of knowledge, Garp quickly understood the situation on the opposite ship. Also saw the dead CP0. You sail over quickly. The medical department is ready to treat the wounded. The lieutenant general of the Ying Squirrel and some sailors are still alive. Garp stepped on his feet and you too. The Ying Squirrel using the moon steps. I'll go RST. You guys come here as soon as possible. Garp, who had already owned into the air said to his subordinates on the ship. What kind of guy is capable of defeating a Ying Squirrel and a CP-0 at the same time? Garp, who hurried towards the Ying Squirrel's warship, thought to himself, is there anyone in there? East China Sea who can defeat a Ying Squirrel and a CP-0? Tread, Garp, who landed on the deck, took a deep breath, although he had already seen the scene. Here with his knowledge and arrogance just now. But now seeing the Ying Squirrel and CP-0, lying on the deck with wounds on their bodies still surprised Garp. Chapter 28 Garp is ready to pursue. Baloo Baloo. Baloo Baloo, Kaka, hey, this is Warring States, hey, Sengoku, it's me, Garp, ha ha ha, Garp, didn't you ask for leave to go back to Windmill Village, have you rested, you, usually avoid my phone calls at this time, why, what made you take the initiative to call me, now, hearing yes at Garp's voice, Sengoku burst out laughing, Warring States, the Ying Squirrel was knocked down, and it is still being rescued, moreover, CP0 who came to the East China Sea to investigate the disappearance of the Tanlong people was killed. Garp said solemnly to the warring states on the other side of the phone bug. What? Sengoku sat up instantly. Both the Ying Squirrel and CP0 were defeated, and CP0 died in battle. Carp, are you serious? Do you think I'm going to joke about this, Sengoku? Well, Carp, do you know who did it? Flying squirrels are not so easy to be defeated, and CP0 who investigated the matter of the Tanlong people was killed. This matter has to be explained to Wu Loxing no matter what, Dot Warring States said in a low voice. It's not clear yet, the Ying Squirrels and CP0 were seriously injured. Garp looked at the busy medical soldiers, among the living people, no one has yet regained consciousness. We don't have any intelligence. Report to Lieutenant General Carp. Lieutenant General Flying Squirrel is awake. What? Hearing the medical soldiers report, Garp hurriedly ran to the Ying Squirrel. Flying Squirrel, how do you feel now? Who beat you like this? Is it Lieutenant General Gup? It seems that I'm lucky. I got my life back. Looking at Gup in front of him, the Ying Squirrel couldn't help but cipher his luck. Flying Squirrel, as long as you are knee. Now tell us why you did this. Sengoku, who was at the headquarters of the Navy, asked countless through the phone in Gup's hand. It's the Marshal of the Warring States period. The Ying Squirrel looked at the phone bug in Gup's hand. Report to the Marshal. The people who defeated us are members of the Drake Pirates. Is it the pirate group that attacked Colonel Mouse? Sengoku said solemnly. I didn't expect that. The pirate group that just caught our attention recently has such strength. It can defeat the strength of you and CP0 at the same time. It seems that we underestimated them. Actually, to be more precise, the one who defeated us was one of their pirates. A man in red, with white hair. The Ying Squirrel added. What? Zango stood up in surprise, alone. And it wasn't their Captain Drake who made their move? Flying Squirrel. Please report the Specy C situation of your battle. Yes, Marshal. Then. While the Ying Squirrel was being healed on one side of the deck, he told the details of the battle with Amiya Shiro. Is it really an exaggerated ability, an in Night Sword? After hearing the Ying Squirrel's report, Zango became more wary of Ziyun and his group. Gup, you happen to be in the East China Sea. I hope that after you send the Ying Squirrel to a nearby naval stronghold, you will quickly go after the Drake Pirates. Rash of light ashed in Sengoku's eyes, and he continued to say to Gup, 
I am extremely suspicious that the loss of contact with the Celestial Dragons has something to do with the Drake Pirates. They have the strength to destroy the Celestial Dragons ships, and dare to take the initiative to empty them. The Ying Squirrels and the others show that they are vicious and courageous people, although it is not certain that they must be the ones who attack the Tan Long people. Their strength and courage show that they are suspected of this. You don't need to say, I will go to Sengoku. I'm rushing to the nearest naval stronghold now. Garp looked serious. Speaking of which, I know something about the Drake Pirates. Huh? Garp, do you know anything? Warring States asked Garp suspiciously. You might also like. I learned from my grandson that their captain's full name is Francis Drake, who can summon cannons out of thin air, and can also summon ships out of thin air. Maybe it's someone with devil fruit abilities. Garp paused he nodded and continued. Also, although Drake is the captain, according to my grandson, Drake is headed by that man named Ziyun. The other man has black hair, so he shouldn't be the one who defeated the Ying Squirrels. Is that so? Then maybe that black-haired man is the real leader of this pirate group, and Drake is just someone he pushed out. Warring states thought about it. Is there any information about the rest of this pirate group? Question mark. No, Ziyun and Drake seem to be the only ones who appeared in Windmill Village. Neither Luffy nor the villagers saw anyone getting close to Ziyun and Drake. Garp shook his head. Perhaps others joined them later. Question mark. Maybe, but it's also possible that their other partners appeared in front of the villagers of Fenk Village, Zanga replied. Then, Garp, I will leave this matter to you. CP Zero's Sacrice, I will now give a report to the five old stars regarding the handling of the Drake Pirates. I will also consider their opinions. That's how it is. I'll report to you after I catch them. Although Ziyun and his group defeated the Ying Squirrels, as Garp, who once captured the Pirate King Roger, he is still content that he can defeat the Ying Squirrels. It belongs to Ziyun's group. Kaka. After speaking, Garp hung up the phone with Sengoku. Chapter 29 Jack's Treasure. The weather in the sea is changeable. The sky was clear just now. But now it has become gloomy, as the sun was covered by dark clouds. The sky began to ash with lightning bolts, and it was about to rain heavily. Marshall, we found an uninhabited island in front of us. Do you want to go and have a look? Pelusino, who was the lookout, looked back at Ziyun, who was lying on the deck chair being fed fruit intimately by Drake and Tsunade, and said, Is there an upcoming storm? Drake smiled. Isn't it just right? It's been good weather since their beginning. Although the good weather is good for sailing, it's too boring to have good weather all the time. Drake, who once traveled around the world, encountered countless bad weather during his voyage. For her, bad weather never scares her, but makes him more excited. I believe in Captain Drake's sailing skills, but ah, uh, I suggest that we go to the island to see. Imiya Shiru came to Ziyan with a plate of fruit juice while talking. These days of sailing, the food we have stored has been consumed a lot. Although I think it is enough to sail to the next town, if you don't want to eat and drink to your heart's content during the next voyage, it's better to go to that island to catch some food, especially the few on board people with big appetites. As he said that, Wai Gong, who handed the juice to Ziyun, stared at Ziyun especially. Hey dot 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 he he. Ziyun smiled awkwardly. As more and more partners were summoned, Ziyun's appetite became stronger and stronger. Especially after summoning Li Xiuwen to obtain the Bujikan ability, his food intake doubled, and now he has surpassed Palu Slino, who had the largest appetite on board, and became the well deserved number person on the Golden Deer with a big appetite. Cough, cough. I think Emiya is right. Supplementing food is very important. Besides, the storm is coming, so we'd better take shelter on the island and replenish supplies by the way. Ha dot 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 ha ha. Uncomfortable being watched by Wai Gong. Ziyun quickly expressed his opinion. Since the master said so, let's go to that island, said. Drake controlled the golden deer and headed towards the uninhabited island. On the uninhabited island, dense raindrops began to fall. The strong wind made the plants on their island shake wildly, and all the animals on the island returned to their caves to avoid the sudden storm. Hurry up, you idiots! The red-nosed Bucky yelled at the pirate who was digging in front of him. You idiots, the storm is coming. If you want to go to the boat to shelter from the rain, hurry up, and give it to me. I dug out the treasure. The sudden storm made Crit, who was already restless because he hadn't dug the treasure for a long time, even more unhappy. Captain Bucky, is the treasure of the great pirate Jack Sparrow really here? Mochi, the animal trainer, walked behind Bucky with his pet lion. We have almost turned the entire island over now already. Lion Leaky nodded humanely. He just wanted to get back to the boat quickly. The rain had dampened its fur which made it very uncomfortable, asshole. This is a treasure map that I got at a huge price, and it will nightly not go wrong. Hearing that Mochi doubted himself, Bucky instantly turned around and yelled at Mochi. It is said that Captain Jack buried his treasure very deep. We must not have dug enough to empty it. Ugh, I'm so mad. Looking back, seeing the pirates digging slower and slower, Bucky ran to grab a shovel in anger and started digging hard. You guys, 
Hurry up and dig with me. If you don't dig out the treasure, no one can go back. Hey, hey. The pirates had no choice but to follow Bucky and wave the shovel vigorously. Ding. Suddenly, Bucky's shovel dug up something iron. I found it. I found it. Quickly, dig it for me. Bucky, who thought he had found the treasure, was instantly excited, and directed the pirates to swing their shovels harder. Ha ha. Sure enough, my treasure map is real. There really is Captain Jack's treasure here. Seeing boxes full of gold coin jewelry and a devil fruit, Bucky was extremely excited. Ha ha. Captain, look quickly. There is still wine and there is a lot of wine here. Mochi, who saw that the treasure really existed, looked at Bucky adoringly. The captain is so amazing, he can lead us to ND such treasures. What a treat. Yeah yeah, Captain Bucky is amazing. Long live Captain Bucky. The other pirates looked at Bucky adoringly. Ha ha ha, of course, I'm the great Captain Bucky. Bucky laughed loudly, however, there is so much wine, it seems that the rumor that Captain Jack is extremely fond of wine is true. I really made a pro tea this time. It's worth my effort to get this treasure map. Bucky sighed. These treasures are all mine, ha ha. No, these are not your treasures, but mine. Behind Bucky, Ziyun's voice came with a sound of rain. Chapter 30 Bucky, let's make a deal. Who? Hearing the voice behind him, Bucky and the members of the Bucky Pirates hurriedly looked back. Ziyun, who blocked the raindrops with his magic power, led his companions, regardless of their vigilance of Bucky and others, and kept approaching them. When the two sides were within a few meters of each other, Ziyun and the others stopped. The pirates of the Bucky Pirates had already taken out their guns and pointed at Ziyun and his party. Hello, Captain Bucky. Ziyun smiled at Bucky. I have something to say to you. Well, what do you want to say? Bucky threw away the knife in his hand, and looked at Ziyun with a grin. Question mark. What I want to say is, D.A. Rob, the treasure you found belongs to me. Thank you for working so hard to end the treasure. Ziyun looked at Bucky and the others with a teasing smile. Ha ha ha, what did I hear? They actually wanted to rob us. How dare you end fault with our Bucky pirates? Ha ha ha. When Bucky heard Ziyun's words, he was taken aback for a moment, and then laughed out loud. Since you dare to trouble us, it seems that we haven't been active in this sea for a long time. Even someone who doesn't know who dares to attack me, Captain Bucky. Captain Bucky, leave these arrogant guys to me. Kabaji. Kabaji drew out his knife and rode a unicycle towards Ziyun. Oh. I'll leave it to you, Kabaji. Baki withdrew the knife in his hand and looked at his chief of staff. Contently. Come on, chief of staff Kabaji. Yes, teach these arrogant guys a lesson. The pirates of the Baki pirates are also very content in Kabaji. They have never seen Kabaji defeated by anyone other than Captain Baki. Even the deputy Captain Mochi has never defeated Kabaji. Can't I? Ding. Boom. With the collision of swords, Kabaji who had just rushed in front of Ziyun, was sent Ying by Musashi with a sword, looking at Kabaji who you more than 10 meters away and was lying motionless on the ground. At the moment dot the Bucky pirates were all stunned as if they had pressed the pause button. What a strange swordsman, but he is still riding a unicycle. Musashi put his sword back into the sheath, looked at the unicycle on the ground, and looked at the unconscious Kabaji strangely, and so weak. Bucky, if you hand over those treasures to us now, you won't have to suffer from a shand blood. As Ziyun spoke, he gradually narrowed the distance between him and Bucky. What? Chief of Staff Kabaji was defeated by one move. How is this possible? Shut up. Bucky looked usly at his fellow pirates. Kabaji must have been careless. Now let's see the great Captain Bucky avenge Kabaji. Yes, Captain Bucky kill them. Go up, go up. Really, why can't you just hand over the treasure honestly? I've persuaded you. Ziyun looked at Bucky who was rushing towards him, and shook his head. Then, using his magic power, he punched Bucky on the nose. Boom. Bucky's eyes turned white, and he followed in Kabaji's footsteps and passed out. So, what about you? Do you want to GHT us, or give us the treasure? Ziyun looked at the other members of the Bucky pirates with a smirk and said, When Bucky woke up, the treasure he found had been carefully carried on to the Golden Deer by members of his own pirate group. Ziyun even asked them to move all the food, wine and other supplies of the Bucky pirates to the Golden Deer, which saved Ziyun and the others from going to the island to end food by themselves. At this moment, on the sand beside the golden deer. Ziyun was looking at a treasure map in his hand, while Musashi held an umbrella and silently shielded Ziyun from the rain. And all there. Members of the Bucky Pirates were trapped by the rope. Especially Bucky, because he is capable of splitting fruit. Ziyun specially asked the members of the Bucky Pirates to tie Bucky tightly. As for the other pirates, Ziyun also tied them to each other. Ziyun didn't intend to ask his own people to tie them up one by one. If you wake up, let's talk about it, Bucky. Although Ziyun was looking at the treasure map, he kept paying attention to Bucky. Therefore, as soon as Bucky woke up, Ziyun immediately noticed it. At this time, seeing that Bucky might have been pretending to be asleep, Ziyun opened his mouth to remind Bucky, hey hey hey, that, big brother, you've already taken the treasure, and we won't grab it, 
so can you just let us go, Bucky, who was helped, didn't dare to be arrogant anymore for him, saving his life at this time is the most important. If you want to grab it, you can't grab it. Ziyan looked at Bucky with a funny face. That's, that's, you're right. We don't dare to snatch it. He he. Bucky smiled. Okay, let's stop talking nonsense. Ziyan unfolded the treasure map in his hand towards Bucky. You should know this treasure map. That's right. It was found on your boat. Now, I want to make a deal with you. If you agree, I will let you go. Having said this, Ziyan showed a sly smile. If you like this audiobook, Subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.